I would be be lying if we hadn't given this question serious thought before, and we're not alone. After watching a zombie movie or TV show, most people are plagued with thoughts on whether zombies could exist. If you're one of these people, then look no further, as I have done a deep dive for you to set the record straight. First things first, the notion of zombies hasn't always been so popular. In fact, it's really only in the late 20th century that they took their place as a go-to horror trope. While fear of the undead seems to go back to the time of the ancient Greeks, at least, the idea of so-called zombies was birthed in Haiti in the 17th century. At the time in Haiti, voodoo doctors mixed up concoctions that essentially paralyzed their patients and put them into a coma, making them appear dead when they were not. There were reports of these so-called zombies rising from their graves days later. We now know that this was caused by toxins found in pufferfish, but at the time, it would have been enough to put the fear of God into anybody. The funny thing about zombies in nature is it's not the zombies which are terrifying. Instead, the creatures or organisms responsible for creating the zombies are real nightmare fuel. Take the Ophiocordyceps fungus, for example, which takes over the minds and bodies of insects. Within a few days of infecting its victim, the fungus has gained complete control and forces this lifeless shell to climb up to a safe, high place where the fungus can then fruit. It then cracks through the insect's head and releases its spores to start the process all over again. That's not the only case of zombies in nature, though. Some worms infect and control a host, and then there's the extremely disturbing jewel wasp. The jewel wasp injects neurotoxins into live cockroaches, paralyzing them for up to a week. The wasp then shuts one of its eggs away with the zombified cockroach in a dark place. Upon hatching, the young wasp has a full meal waiting for it. Sort of, but it depends on what you define as a zombie. There are the cases of the Haitians who were poisoned with pufferfish toxins, for example, and acted much like zombies, and rose from the dead, so to speak. There are also cases where people have suffered from rare conditions that make them act similarly to how we think zombies should. For example, coated syndrome makes people think they are dead or decomposing, with some patients demanding to be buried as they think they smell like rotting flesh. In other cases, patients attempted to take their life to prevent others from becoming like them.